varnished it. And this is the first time I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna get this to a consistency that I'm happy with. I want it to go on heavy, but a light touch. Uh, I wanna leave some of it showing, but I'll end up scrubbing it off. Oh, I'm nervous. Here we go. So this is obviously just one part of the whole stage or the steps even because once I've done this, I clean it off, I'll respray it, re-varnish it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be alright. It's going to be alright. What I might have to do in a second though is take that. And then I'll have to touch up all the tools and bits like that as well. I'm not too bothered about the tracks because they will get rusted up, muddied up. Right, let's concentrate some. And a bit more. I'll just keep building it up. coming along you can still see sort of the camouflage behind it through it so what's happening i just want to get in under the uh the turret where it's sort of aligned and get around the sort of like engine housing at the back here which you can't get to so okay right yep panic over uh, that stage is going to be okay. So then I use a stiff brush and some water to scratch away some of that white wash around the transfers and things like that uh, before applying any pigments that I wanted to use using a makeup brush. And then I'll give it all a good seal, apply my streaking and rust and grimes and any sort of textures uh, you want to give it, varnish it and that's it, done. Stage two then is complete. It's the blocking of all the main colours I'm going to be using. So German field grey for the vast majority of the uniform trousers, uh, long cloaks, uh, if they're wearing soft hats as well, uh, as well as some of the munitions I've done. I've done uh, German dark green for some of the other crates and the vast majority of it's been done with army warm painted desert yellow. There are areas that I've left I haven't touched and that's largely due to the fact that they're either going to be white or uh, after the varnish it doesn't really matter because I'm going to do a two sort of stage process to, to bring them back up So that's end of stage two. It looks really poor, but post wash um, That's when we can start actually applying the effects and doing the highlighting. So let's move on to stage three then now What I'm going to demonstrate is uh, applying the winter uh, wash to this gun shield Now for this I've been using Ultraan grey um, Just an off-white and a bit of my sponge and this is all I do so hopefully you would have seen in the little clip I did of the tiger how you know multiple passes to build it up are uh, better than sort of one splodge that comes it I want a lot of this gun shield to sort of show through still uh, and this is it so I'm going to carry on with this and uh, we'll come back once it's done Okay, and, and that's it. So I'm happy with the whitewash on it. Um, I'll spray it and seal it, and then I can start using some of the grime and streaking effects to just sort of weather it up. Um, I then also need to go through all the details, pick up so like the pickaxe, touch up where I've gone onto like the tire wheels. Um, then yeah, really take it to the next level and try and, and uh, pick out the details and improve the sort of like gun assembly rather than the gun shield. But there is my sort of methods and my processes for whitewashing so far uh, and then we'll come back at the end for the complete model uh, along with it being based. That is the finished piece so using the basic method I showed you on the observer um, I've gone a little step further and added some clump foliage to this and some sit there texture snow and on the logs here. Uh, exactly as I've done with the tiger so I still put it on and some streaking obviously there's not a lot of surface area so couldn't do too much to it. 
Um, I'm really, really happy how this come out. What we'll do now is just give you a sort of close up of uh, the completed models.